First thing this morning, we are going to see Hilary Meredith, who kindly sponsors me throughout the year. Um, it helps me out big time uh, for training and, and obviously getting away and paying for tournaments, entry fees, flights, hotels, etc. And uh, we're just going to have a meeting with her and see how she is and how she's getting on and, 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 and talk what's going to be going on over the next couple of years. I'm actually quite surprised how many people know that we, we sponsor Jamie because we are being asked um, constantly by other people in the, in the legal profession even, um, you know, how's he doing, how's he getting on. So um, there is a, quite a lot of awareness, um, I think, especially since the Olympic Games in London um, and huge support for the Paralympians now. Well, he's a bundle of fun and he can't talk, <laughs> so he's very good um, at representing himself. Um, he's come to um, some of the awards at the SIA, the Spine Injuries Association, with me. He's very communicative, gets on with people, and obviously, you know, he's a Paralympian, um, which is fantastic. I'm on route to South Ribble Tennis Centre, where uh, I do most of my training. Um, I'm a member of the gym and I get my tennis courts free there uh, and my coaches from down that neck of the woods. So we're off uh, up the M6 now for uh, a good session. I'm uh, Jamie Bedekin's coach. I've been coaching Jamie for about four years now. Uh, we work on lots of different things, technical work, fitness work. Uh, we've been through a lot of ups and downs in Jamie's career so far. We've been to the Paralympics and uh, yeah, I kind of take care of what he's doing on the practice court and you know, when he's working with different players I kind of take charge. I think the best moment working with Jamie so far is when he beat the world number one in Nottingham. Uh, it was a big achievement for him and showed that he could beat the best players in the world. What was for Jamie is to get back into the, first of all, the back into the world's top eight and uh, looking to push forward against the world's top four. Jamie uh, will be a medal hope at the Rio Paralympics. We train four days a week. Uh, about 12 hours in those four days a week, uh, then he does his fitness sessions without me. Hi, um, I'm Bernie Howcroft, I'm a personal trainer and uh, I work with Jamie Burdekin. I've been working with Jamie for the last couple of years on and off. We work on his strength and conditioning and um, a little bit of on-court work in the chair so that we work on speed drills. Um, we're working now towards Rio 2000 and 16. Yes, it is, isn't it? Um, so that's our that's our goal um, is to get him fit and strong for Rio. If he works hard and he puts he, you know, puts his focus his attention onto the tennis full maximum 100 110 percent, he can definitely achieve. Um, I'd like to think, I'd like to say gold. Have a good day today. I had a great meeting with one of my sponsors this morning, Hilary Meredith and her company. Lovely people down there. Uh, they supported me since uh, the start of London and uh, they're on the journey with me, hopefully all the way to Rio. So it was an uh, important meeting that this morning. Then I got up to, uh, went up to Preston near Bamba Bridge into South Ribble Tennis Centre and I've uh, done a couple of hours with my coach Rob, had a good chat with him today. Didn't really do loads today, but we did enough. Just uh, working on a lot of wheelchair movement today and trying to just get a bit more topspin on the forehand. I mean, I think I'll have to do a bit of technical stuff tomorrow. That's going to be a tough day tomorrow, but it's a little bit rusty, but I know I've, I know where I've got to improve. Um, and then I went and done some maintenance work and just topped up my s and in the gym. So now the day is done and uh, I'm off to see me lad. It's only Thursday, I've got another long, long day tomorrow. It's going to be a tough day tomorrow. Then I look forward to the weekend and uh, watching the Blue Boys, hopefully win Tottenham on Sunday. So uh, yeah, it's another day in the office done and dusted and uh, thanks very much.